What's up, Tad? What's up, Jimmy? How you doing? Let's get everything situated.
Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there's an Oculus. What's up, Kyle? It's crazy how we went all of release without finding an Oculus or War Tribes, and then the last three days we found three Oculus and two pairs of War Tribes. You should make a gold find barb. My buddy has a gold find barb. I geared it or helped him gear it up and stuff. My barb is going to be a pit zerker when I make them. How do I get Uber Diablo to spawn in Chaos for any charm? Well, so the way that that works is usually people get a group of people together and you have to sell 65 to 125 Stone of Jordans to a vendor and anywhere between 65 and 125 Stone of Jordans sold, Diablo, you'll get the message on screen, Diablo walks the earth. And you can go to any super unique in the game and Diablo will spawn instead of that super unique. Is it 70? I thought it was 65. But yeah. TLDR, you just have to... You have to sell a bunch of Stone of Jordans until you get the message that Diablo walks Earth and then you go and spawn them at a super unique spawn. Most people, they like to go to Frigid and spawn them where Eldritch is. Some people go to Sanctuary and go right out the portal. I honestly don't know why people spawn them, spawn him in chaos. Uh, there used to be a bug where you can actually seal pop him and it would kill him instantly, but they fixed that. Oh, what? 
Whoops. You might have seen it on single player. On single player, you only have to sell one Stone of Jordan. Yep, wind does physical damage. Hey, what's up, Marv? How you doing today? CTA or fort to keep my merc alive. Mercenaries are tricky. Lifesteal is their best friend. Morning, Alan. How you doing?
costume contest at the office right now. Seems fun, seems fun. What is my mercenary doing? get that Marv but it's not good for the longevity of the game hey ice how's it going What's up, John? How's it going? Uh, CTA prices are pretty, uh, pretty volatile right now because everyone's trying to get their CTA, cheap CTAs too. I've seen them go for as low, low as like a go, um, and as high as a couple ist, maybe like three ist. Which is roughly the price of a Vex too, so. to take an early lunch nice there you go relax for a little bit drop you there.
Yeah, no problem, John. Even if you can get a 1BO, still worth it. I'll tell you that. Especially if you have a bunch of plus skills on your gear. Can high runes like Burr drop on one player, or is it only for full game lobbies? Nope. Any high rune can drop, depending on the area. So, for example, if you do lower Karas super chest, you can drop, the chest can drop up to a Burr rune. But if you go and farm, like, let's say, Pindle, Pindle has the opportunity to drop up to a Zod rune. Cows have a chance to drop any rune in the game. You can do everything on one player, my friend. Bridget Highlands could drop a shake or right? and Haas. I believe Shank can, yeah. Jacos can drop from Nightmare Bale at the earliest, I believe, so yeah. And Shank is a level 80, like Frigid is an 82 area, I believe. I don't know what, what Shank is. I don't know his monster level. I have some serious luck. Three in one hour farming Stony Field and Darkwood mobs. Crazy. How the heck did I get in? Um, I don't know. I guess I got in before the server errors. I don't know.
both 7 and Q, huh? That's interesting. It could only be one of you who got in. That's how this works, I guess. My routine for now is just Eldritch and Shank. Yeah, they can drop good items. They can. MF have been letting me down lately, may use the Zahn for Elden Shank. As long as you're over 100%, that's important. You'll build up over time.
Finally in. Now to see if I can stay in and try for a hell rush on my Java on. Good luck on your drops. I'll be listening. Thanks, Grumpy. Good luck on the rush, man. Wonder when all the server issues started. I know they were doing a live maintenance, but surprisingly, I just didn't have any issues. I logged on about an hour and a half before stream. Playing fine. the hydras hello Yo, love the vids, earned your sub, nice to see the stream, yo, tickle, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Seeing that you subbed uh, a little bit ago, do appreciate the support. So we try to, well, yeah, we try. Some things just come up, right? Real life comes up, but Monday through Friday stream from noon to five Eastern. Am I on? Uh, yes, I am. I am just a collision. I can't get in. in trying to find the damn job burr found a low in cows yesterday i'll do l shank pindle pits and cows rats on your low run yeah we have man since release we have not found a single high rune it's insane <laughs> actually i lied we found a gull we found a gull oh hopefully that'll change today though doing our trav runs here Probably do some chaos later on too. Found my first pelt. Plus five hurricane. Oh no. <laughs> it's something at least. Right? Maybe instead of maybe instead of chaos, we'll do uh we'll do some flare runs today. Twenty six people watching, only six likes. Come on, hit that like button for the man. Yo, thank you, Grumpy.
I'll use Hydras. My mercenary just doesn't stay. I might as well just run without a mercenary. But he has the Reapers on, and that helped. Korun, it's a start, right? It's a start. Put these on. Listen, let me, all right, relax. Let me identify my cool stuff. Hello? Speaking of hurricane, two hurricane, one summoning. I found my, I found a pelt actually the other night and it rolled plus four tornado. And I actually tossed it cause it wasn't a plus five. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't. It was just a plus four. It didn't roll any resistances. It rolled like 12 life. It was essentially worthless. I just, I hate doing that. Going to res my mark. And it was, it was just depressing to look at, okay? <laughs> Mal rune off a dead body on the way to Andy. Yes, always. If you guys noticed, well, I don't know because I trim the clips a lot for the videos. But yeah, when I'm in Andy's room, there are three static spawns for bodies. There's one on a pike. There's one on the ground, and then in the left corner, there's one up in the like a little dark corner. Like as soon as you enter the double doors, or if you TP in, it's to the left before the hallway to the throne. Always, always, always check those bodies. They do have a reputation for dropping runes, mid and high runes. People in the community have also said that they've gotten lows and, and burrs and stuff like that off of those bodies. There's all the Hydras. My mercenary is going to get destroyed here. Yep. I mean, this is just insane. He can't do anything. And we still haven't found out or had any sort of confirmation if they're going to be fixing this this hydra bug with mercenaries since it seems to be bypassing his fire resist them he's a liability blows us down
Uh, I don't know when he'll be on, if he'll be on, but Trauma looted an Ohm rune the other night. I don't know if he's looking to trade it or not, because he already has his CTA, he said. So he may be looking to trade it. Like, look at how many Hydras there are. My goodness. Good luck here. This is where I got my gyro rune. Yeah, we're trying. I just really want that. A high rune here. I really do. It's been long enough. How you doing today, Miles? Good man, good. Glad to hear it. Was my first high room drop. Was only like 30 runs in on the day when I found it. You'll have the same luck, I feel. I hope so, man. Thank you. Send me your energy. I feel like my bear gets lost sometimes. I gave up on my mercenary here. He just keeps getting slaughtered by the hydras. And he's slowing me down. So he doesn't get to join us on our adventures because he doesn't want to stay alive. I wish they would move this. You're making a new game so fast. Slow down. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. That's one of the main reasons why when I was doing the Indario and Mephisto videos, I had to kill them in the same game. Or I would get locked. There were just some Mephisto runs and some Andy runs that I run in and I kill them within 20 seconds. All 
I mean, it's a bear, he might not have the best sense of direction like me. <laughs> True. What's up, Tan? How you doing? Dude, I hate fighting behind pillars like this. Jeez, how many... Freaking set pieces we're gonna get. Guys, we're only at 200%, not even 200 yet. Oh, we did hit 86 though, I didn't even realize. Let's go. Six men, three max, mana, and AR. That is an awful ring. Awful, awful, awful. I honestly don't even pick up the rings. I really don't. What's up, Jerry? How you doing today? already yeah actually off our second run this could have been good if it rolled the damage too oh it could have been so good actually I could it still be good for a smiter? Or a zeal? I think it may. Especially, I mean, if it doubled the attack rating, if it rolled the 120 AR, that'd be great. I don't know. We're just stuffing in a mule, I guess. See you've jumped a hundred subs past two days. We have actually. Thanks, man. We sure have. We're almost, almost at 800.
don't tell me where my bear is. Oh, there's my bear. He decided to join us. What's that noise? Yeah. Is that really the, the music? What's up, Scott? Thanks for the midday adventures. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. He saw a picnic basket. Full on gold? We are. How do I mana regen? Um thought it was the arachnid. Is it not the arachnid guys? Am I mana leech? Does my tornado leech? Because it's physical? Is that what's happening here? Because I kind of thought the arachnid, it gives max mana though. I thought the arachnid was my mana regen. I may be mana leeching. <laughs> Druids may be able to mana leech because their tornadoes physical damage. Same thing like with a, with a Jabazon. Since Javazan is a portion of it is physical damage, you still get to leech mana and health. Wow, what run was that? I think it was 36.
remember to stash the gold this time. Is a Tal Am and one perfect ruby for a four socket on a monarch? Yes. Yep. It is, uh. Yeah. You have a 50 50 chance, basically. It's almost time to gamble again. Not a problem, Marv. Not a problem. You know, I keep calling all my stuff before I command. Not really doing a good job at using my CTA effectively, huh? Efficiently. Another Griswold plate. This and Trang chest. Like, was, we get so many of them. Ow. I thought I killed them all. What magic find you run on this one? 197? Yeah, 197. Not quite at the 200 mark, but I can easily replace it with a charm. Thought I was at 200 yesterday, but. Oh well. I muled my charms. I think I muled my charms. Yeah, I'm pretty positive. Mission CTA usage. Here we go. Is it okay to gamble at 81 for amulets and rings? If you're looking to get good amulets, like plus twos with FCR and stuff, definitely 85 is your, your lowest point that you want to gamble. Maybe 86. I think it's actually 86. 93 and above is what you want to gamble. That's the recommended level. But 86 is when you can when you can roll really good amulets. Rings on the other hand, rings are different. Rings have a totally different uh, character level that you need to be at. And I don't know it off the top of my head. I was always more of an amulet gambler and crafter. Wish I could help more.
Just hit 90 max gold in all stashes. Got geeks in the bow for vendor reduct. I don't know whether to do circuits or enemies. I have done both tickle um, on stream. Just the other day, we gambled about. We had a couple donations. Uh, so we gambled about like 10 mil. And we ended up pulling a two pally, 10 FCR, 14 all resistance ammo. That was the only notable one. Circlets are harder and they're more expensive. Keep that in mind. Why circlets? So gambling circlets can, <laughs> I mean, you can hit a lot of good circlets more than Amis, but, but it is rarer to find a yellow circlet gambling than it is to find a yellow Ami gambling. You have lower odds. I think you can gamble pretty much everything. Um, the Griffs, you can, I'm pretty sure you can because the way that it works for the for the elites and stuff when i was buying circlets it would sometimes roll my circlet into a uh, coronet a coronet can also roll into a tiara because it's the same kind of base according to the the code so that's another thing when you're gambling just take it slow because it will switch on you. It changes bases in the screen itself. Not when you buy it. It's weird. It's really, it's actually, it threw me off a couple of times. I ran hundreds of Andy, Trav, Mess, Shank, and L and Nightmare trying to upgrade my stuff with my sorcerers. Can't find upgrades for Hell. Is it so mundane to keep farming? Hell is pretty rough at level 72. Um. So I would recommend just staying with Endario and Mephisto on Nightmare, but you can easily farm Mephisto if you're a fire sorceress or a blizzard sorceress on hell safely without having to worry about getting killed or anything i have a video on how to do it you just use the stair method and dario can be tricky because of her poison but if you take in dario into the bottom right corner of her throne room and just keep doing ring around the rosy with the whatever it is the the wood or whatever then yeah it, that's an easy way to deal with Andy seriously right sorry new tune to run and hopes to farm with a druid or barb druid is um I will say this druid if you don't have enough starter gear you're gonna have a harder time with the druid than you would with um with the sorceress. You came with fistle runs and no arachnid. If you guys could do some sacrifices to the loot god for me, I would really appreciate it. Hey again, amigo. Thanks for the Mephisto video. How is your evening? Hey, Salik. I am... My evening is going well. How about yourself? How you doing today? Um... What is this? 39? Yeah, 39. Okay.
Yeah, I mean, Scott, RJ's offering to, to rush you if, you if you're available. It's funny because with the, the safe method on Mephisto, he's easier to farm than Andy. I'm at work currently, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I used to do Andy with the door closed, draw her to the door, and meteor through the door. I never knew that was a thing, Marv. Wow. Pretty cool, actually. What's up, Jesse? How you doing? Hope you all are having a great day or night. My dog is sick. Oh no, the puppers. Puppers is sick, huh? Sorry to hear that. FCR 101 AR and 16 lightning. Not bad. Good background while I'm building out the Q3 metrics. <laughs> Listen guys, your secrets are safe here, okay? Nobody's gonna, nobody will rat you out. We got each other's backs here. <laughs> but yeah, Salik, I hope it's just something minor. I know when my dog gets sick, all I, he just wants love nonstop. He wants to be a baby. Twenty-five res Mars off Mephisto. Grats, Justin. Big grats. I'm still looking for a Mars. Maybe on our next Mephisto bench. Maybe we'll get lucky. All the all of our luck has come since we've created the Druid, and I'm not gonna. You know, I said it when we created them. I have a good feeling about it. The explosion and the fire damage works through the door. Yeah, that's good to know. It is. That's a nice little tip for people. My druid has been pretty. My druid has pretty good gear. A hodo, all reses max, 36 elemental. What do you recommend farming? Uh, farm chaos. Farm trav. Player jungle. World stone and uh bail that's what i recommend you can pretty much farm everything and that's the that's the beauty about this i am getting smoked right now But yeah, that's why I love my druid. I can pretty much do anything. Why flare? So a lot of people have been telling us just because of the density, there's so much in flare that the more you kill, obviously the better chances you are to get, you know, rune drops and stuff. So people are farming flare for rune drops.
I'm a windy druid as well. Are you, do you have an enigma, Justin? Or are you just, are you a madman and you're walking, Mephisto? Yeah, I, uh, Druid is just one of those classes, Nicholas, because we're hybrid, physical and cold, that we just, we have so much that we can do. And chaos is especially easy for us. If your Druid has a, an Enigma, you're up there with a Light Sorceress and a Hammerden in terms of clear speed. You really are. Sadly walking, I don't run it much, just when I get bored of chaos. Understandable. I first walked my fist with my druid, then I realized I scanned myself by not playing a sorceress. Yeah. Yeah, it is especially tough if you don't start playing sorceress. Like I that's always my first character to magic find with. It is uh it's rough. Unless I'm playing in like a big group and we all start different classes to help each other out. Yeah, I always start a sorceress. And I originally started playing with a couple friends of mine, but I knew that I had more time to play than they did. So I was going to do the farming. Twenty more Eldritch runs and I'm going to hit the bed. Let's go. Well, good luck on those 20 more runs. I hope you get something. It's definitely a strong choice in the beginning, Justin. But I mean, you can you always have alternatives. You can shop a teleport staff with any class and be able to teleport, you know? Early on, you just gotta make sure that you're picking up stuff to sell and make sure you have a good, good steady influx of gold coming in. Because it can get expensive real fast. Just a one up, tucked in the corner over here. Two hundred sixty percent magic find with rhyme and go. Most drops are rare, are rares. Yeah. So the thing with Eldritch and Shank and Pindle, that's just what they're known for. They drop a ton, a ton of rares. But if you remember my Shank video, I did get two ethereal CVs, and if you can get even those without sockets on them, just plain. They're still selling for and trading for about an Umrun. So keep that in mind. I mean, it, it's the little things that you're looking for when you farm Shank, Pindle, and Eldritch, guys. Pindle, he has a chance to drop super rares, you know? Tau's Plate. Um, I think the only items that he can't drop are Tyrael's or Rachnan, and there's one other. But Pindle is really good because you can hit big on him. But you're really looking for low items to trade up with.
Nice, Scott. Big gains. Big gains. How good is my torch? It is a 1420 torch. Pretty good. Pretty good. This is where I wish I had my mercenary. When he rolls fizz. Hello, Maroon. We're getting up there. Seems like you guys need to be my financial advisor. Since I always forget where this guy is to repair, I'm gonna go to Act 4 to repair. I I don't know why, I can never, all these years, I can't remember where to repair in Act 3. What's up, Annie? Up? Oh, how you doing? And yep, we got the wind drew it up last week. How you doing, Annie? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. A little tired today, but you know, fighting through it. Trying to get a good high room in the drop, maybe? Be great. May do some flare runs here in a bit.
Let's go, my new character, level 80. Nice. What do you would you uh would you decide on? I need to do my Java on, so maybe hitting you guys up for some rush help today. Yeah, if if nobody's on to help you, Jerry, I got you. Poison Necro, Sporting and Enigma. Very nice. Very nice. Looking forward to those, man. I get my dreams today, bro. Like a dream dream, really? Two of them? Plural? I just threw a tornado on my poor bear. Where is Torque? He's in the corner again. I hate when he goes in this corner. What is this, Rake? It only rolled life, huh? Maybe another resistance, too. I need to join the Discord on my PC account as well. Remind me when I get home around at 3.45. Will do, Scott. Will do. Fluffy Dual Chaos. No thanks, Outlander. No thank you, man. Doing the trap runs. Trying to get 100 done for a video. Made a deal for two jaws. I get them later after the dude gets off work. I'm trading all my sorcerer's charms at home in Asajj. Nice. Very nice. Oh. Oh. What are you doing out here all alone, buddy? I hate how much these guys run, so you know what? I'm leaving. I appreciate it, guys. I do. 
Got a serve from Trav yesterday. Nice. Gives me hope. Gives me hope. We are officially out of room and things. Okay. Okay. We don't have portal scrolls. Um, here, give me this. Garbage. Give me my Nefrune back because I can't find Nefrunes for the life of me and I'd like to Bloodcraft soon. I'm still selling my Fortitude, but for now I slapped it on my new Javas then. It's the way to go. Slay some cows. Fluffy puts out great content as one of the only D2R streamers to bring you content live in English. The least we could do is like his stream. Guy, I, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I do appreciate all the support, guys. It means a lot. Fluffy, why you put the FCR in the title? So people know that I'm at 164% FCR. That's the max break point for a Druid. Let me know what you need for crafting items in a PM on Discord. Okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna, I've got a few people DM me about it too, and I'll get together with everybody later on and see what people want to do for them. I mean, I got a couple mid runes and stuff. I got gear as well. I'm just looking to craft soon, so I'm accumulating all the crafting materials. High rune drop rate based on number of players. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, number of players and just how many things you're killing. That's why cows are so great for high rune farming. Hey man, I have a level 70 Javazon as my only character with useless gear. Where should I farm? Well, you can start off with doing Eldritch and Shank and Frigid. They're really easy to farm. You can also throw Pindle into that mix if you have on your quest done. Um, cows are are going to be like your end game of end game. That's where you're going to spend most of your time because Javazons can just slaughter cows. Once you get a Titans, if you don't already have a Titans, you'll notice a massive, massive increase. Um and just farming potential and capability. Sent you a friend request on Battle.net. Let me go ahead and accept you right now, Scott. Crafting stream this Friday. I don't know if we're gonna craft this Friday because I, I want to get up to 93 to craft. I do, that's one thing I want to do. I need to get my sorceress or even my druid up to 93 first. And that gives me time to keep buying uh, amethyst, roused, and get some magic amies and junk jewels. Once I do chaos, I'll be saving all my magic amies and stuff. And uh, we'll do some bail runs, of course, on Friday. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. 
So yeah, I mean, for everyone who's in here now, don't forget we're doing a we're doing a giveaway for the new ones in here. We are doing a giveaway tomorrow. We're giving away an Oculus, War Tribes, and a bunch of other things like a lid list, some Nagel rings. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and be a part of the community Discord. You can exclamation mark Discord in chat. Nightbot will send a, a Discord invite to people for people to click. Once you join the Discord, all you have to do is react to the welcome message to receive your Diablo 2 role. And they're all done through the Discord. It's all fair. All you have to do is react to the Discord bot when I start the giveaway and the bot will just randomly choose a winner. What a way to end the 50 Eldritch runs, a code drop. <laughs> this is better than nothing, right? A couple more, you can just trade them up. Thank you, Jamie. There's the Discord link, guys. In case anyone's interested. Curious, could I win if I'm on PlayStation? I don't think we have anybody, and I'm trying to work on this, guys. For all the PlayStation players, we don't have anyone who has a PlayStation, who plays on both PlayStation and PC to transfer things. Right now, it's exclusively to Switch and Xbox. But I, I am working on it, Justin. I'm working on finding somebody who can middleman the items for PlayStation users. Hey, how's it going, Power Trip? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm doing good. How about yourself? I play on PC and PlayStation. There we go. Maybe we'll be able to middleman some more stuff between people. Got to clear out my. Why couldn't this have something else on it, guys? <laughs> and hi. Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Is it Marlesco? Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm sorry if that's not how you pronounce your name. Bro, I don't have an enigma yet. Me neither. Me neither, Satan. <laughs> I, I kind of figured you meant me. Yeah, I don't have an enigma yet. Man, we have not gotten any high runes to drop. Like, we, we get items here and there sometimes, but rough. It's rough. I'm thinking, I'm honestly thinking about trading the, the 554 CTA, guys. Honestly thinking about trading this. Um, probably for a jaw. I'm looking for a jaw for it. Spot on or just Marley? Okay. Good to know. And now the consoles are all assembled. <laughs> true. Very true. I haven't gotten an above an is for me to drop yet, but plenty of good items. Yeah, the highest we've gotten is a go rune. The lowest of all high runes. <laughs> Is what it is though. We got it early on, so we got some good trade value out of it. That's what's important. They all tank now. I wish there was a button. Like, can I get a quality of life feature to just move everything from my cube to my stash just with one click?
thousand CS with zero magic find for rune farming. Yeah, I mean, magic find doesn't matter when it comes to rune farming. Passive of magic skills, twenty-two MF. Close, close, close. I found two sirs in two days in a jaw a week before, just in cows and Tristram. That's insane. It's insane hearing all your guys' luck. And then realizing that I play <laughs> for between five and... Five and seven hours. <laughs> oh, whoops. And can't get any high runes to drop. But that's okay. That's okay. got locked okay Thinks that she's a normal. <laughs> I actually, well, I did probably ten countess runs the other day, just uh, just to you know, see how fast I can do them, and I ended up getting a pull. And I think two limbs. I have spare Ellie Grand Chimes on them. Nah, I'm good, man. I got a I got a full inventory right now. We pulled a couple Ellie Charms. Uh, we had a viewer yesterday, Len, who ended up donating one too.
Fuck Taylor. How you doing? Run 57. How many of these should we do, guys? Should we just go to for the 400 today? And then whatever time we have left over, we'll do like Flare or Chaos. Shockwave, Hunger, Dual Res. Hey, do you think I'll be able to get a low percentage V Gaze for a low percentage Titans? Truthfully, I don't think you would. If it was a higher end Titans, I think that would be a fair trade. But you never know. I mean, people definitely undercut themselves and like they lowball themselves. So everything's worth a shot, you know? And all in all, those are that's a reasonable trade. I would uh, I would definitely look on Tradery and maybe post on the Blizzard Diablo trading forums. Sit in a normal game because it it may happen. How much is a Mars? Even a low Mars is pretty expensive still. Mars will always go for at least a high room. Always. Um, at the very least, you'll get, or Mars will always net about a Vex. That's a very, very low, probably 20 to 23 Mars, maybe 22, 25 Mars. I mean, I still think maybe you, you may be able to get like an ohm rune for a 25 Mars. I know 27s plus they sell for about like people are trading them pretty high. Two Vex. Yeah, you could probably get two Vex for it too. Maybe. Yeah. What I've learned over the last week, week and a half is that there are a lot more places to trade between discords and websites than there were before so and this is for everybody i try to price check guys as best as i can right like i never want to like lowball anybody or like give you you know bad information and that's why you know some people they they respectfully correct me if i do accidentally lowball or give you bad information but there's so many, so many different trading platforms between discords and websites and people just price things differently across all of them. Yeah, tra I, I took an, I took a second chance at tradery and I really enjoy the way that the website it feels like a Path of Exile trading website. It's 
it's very well done. I do, I still think the website is very clunky and there's a lot going on on the website, but it's a good, it's a good place. Sanctuary Discord, I heard, is a really nice place to trade as well. Blizzard from the back here. And there's the crash. We have not crashed in about four days and now we've crashed. Am I going to be able to get back in? I have to go get ready for my born day dinner. I'll leave the stream running in peace. Oh, happy birthday, Mark. And thank you for the idol, man. You have a good time. What's up, Juan? How's it going? I believe there's a memory leak on the PC version. Really? Yikes. Let's hope that gets fixed, huh? Which is Mara Max Pentaskin? Well, I don't know about the the skin. Max Mars though, that's another one that just it's so volatile.
Is Lowe worth trading for Arachnid, Mara, and Andes? What? What Mara? Oh, we died. <laughs> that was alt-tab. Feels bad. Um, yeah, so it all depends what Mara's it is. If it's a high Mara's, then... Again, I guess it depends. A perfect Mara's productive, by the way. Um, but yeah, be productive music. A perfect Mara's alone is worth about a low room. I would say that's a safe, safe trade, a low room. Sorry, I didn't mean it. No, you're fine. You're perfectly fine. Um, so a 20 res Mara is about, I would say a Vex rune and Arachnid is about two Ist runes. And an Andy, so no. I definitely wouldn't think low rune is worth a low res Mara and a Rackton and an Andes. What killed me? Oh, torque's up still. Yeah, no problem, Kevin. Get my gold back. And my mana pots. On to run 60. chasing them across the world. Fluffy, are you East Coast? Yeah, I am. Sure am. Just got smacked with that big storm. Hello, lag? Okay, there's another one up somewhere. Yep, torque's up. Just chilling in the corner again. Just hiding. Being a troll. Okay. 
Yeah, we didn't have any... The other day I was just... Well, yesterday I was beat because during the storm, I was up. I just stressed all day because my basement's prone to flooding during storms and stuff. Thankfully, we didn't have to deal with that this time. You kept dropping geeds when you found a new one. You can only carry one at a time. Yeah, yep. Sure can. And you can only put them in your shared stash. You can't put in a second one in your personal, or you wouldn't be able to pick up the one that you drop. So make sure you put them in your shared. That's why we have five to give away for the giveaway. <laughs> There's certain things that we just find too much of. Tranquil's chest is one, Grizz chest is another. And then we've just been finding so many geeds lately. So only five hour difference between us have some west coast friends it can be a pain sometimes second up yeah yeah i feel that i used to uh i used to play cod with a couple couple friends of mine that i met and they lived in the uk and it was a pain to link up even because I was always playing late at night when I was a kid, right? Can I give you a 26 one for the giveaway or is it too low? Of course. Yeah, of course. We'll add that to the pile. And then we got six geeds to give away. I think we have, yeah, we have, we have lower than that. We have a 25 one to give away. The best one we have to give away is this 38 one. Yep, just a reminder that the giveaway is tomorrow, guys, on stream. All you gotta do is be subbed to the channel and a part of the Discord. We're giving away a pair of War Tribes, an Oculus, a couple Nagel Rings, 
six geeds now? <laughs> And uh, a bunch of other stuff. They really pick on my Oak Sage way too much. I would just like it if he stayed alive for more than two seconds. Can I give it to you? Uh, if you want to come into my game right here, Amigo 65, password 65. Uh, you can just drop it to me. Just make sure you put the one that you have in your inventory in your shared stash and then grab the one that you want to give away. Stairs, did I not? Either my internet is having issues or the stream is. I'm probably dropping frames. Seems like it it's stable now. Seems like that.
So Leek, if you ever have any questions about the values of items and stuff, I'll try and help you as best I can, but other people in the community, they'll, uh, they'll help as well. What's up, Tommy? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry about the drop frames, guys. Um, if it keeps happening, I don't want you guys to watch a slideshow. That's no fun. But there's nothing much I can really do about it. There's more storms brewing up on the East Coast here, and I just think it has something to do with that, maybe. But yeah, time we've been we've been having a good time. Always having a good time. Toby, I need that mage fist. Well, Toby, if uh we're gonna give them away tomorrow on stream, all you have to do is be sub to the channel. And uh part of the Discord. Thank you, Salik, for the for the stuff to give away. Yeah, it is what it is, Tommy. Happens, right? Oh, we gotta go next game. What's good MF gear for a sorceress? Most sorceresses like to run Nagel rings, chance guards, for their gloves. Uh, Shaco, of course. You know, these are, these are what people look for, but you can always get your own magic finding gear that isn't, you know, the quote, quote meta. For example, you can get a open socket helmet, put P topazes in them. You can get a 4OS chest and fill it with topazes and get your magic find that way. But yeah, some of the some of the higher end items people look for are like war traps that I have here, the Shaco, um, Nagel rings, chance guards, house set. Found out that the weekend shifts are getting cut for a while, so I'll finish at 12 on Fridays for a bit. 
More game time, huh? It's cool, man. Very cool, very cool. You're welcome, Toby. Looks fine on my end. Yeah, we, we're dropping frames here and there. It's not massive amount. So if the stream starts to buffer for you guys and, and so forth, I do apologize. Nothing much I can do. I am looking at it, monitoring it monitoring it and if it just gets out of hand then I'll, I'll call it early because nobody wants to watch the slideshow like I said welcome back tickle and no haven't really found anything want a little dry spell here Hoping to break it in the next 30 runs or so. I mean, that's not a bad drop. What'd it roll? 710. It's a bad drop. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's good enough to add to the list. gonna feel good to get home before 5 a.m. Yeah, I bet, man. council member going is twisted essence worth anything the blue one no All right, guys, one sec. I'll be right back. Lunch is here. I've made over 300 trav runs, and the best rune I dropped were a co was a co rune. And that sounds about like us right now. <laughs> Keep at it, though, my friend. I have faith. I have faith. I'll be right back.
Run 72. You need to realistically run 6,900 runs for an item drop rate of 1 to 620 to almost have a 90% drop rate. 300 trap runs is like a drop in a lake for the high runes. True. Very true. Alright, we are back. Another live list for the giveaway.
26 more runs. May the RNG gods bless us. What's the most expensive item in the game? Believe it or not, it is a blue. The most expensive item in the game is called a J Mod, a jeweler's monarch of deflecting. It is a 4 OS blue monarch with an increased chance to block. And a couple other things on that. I, I think it's increased chance to block. Four open sockets. Yeah, I can't remember the other things on it. But yeah, it's, it's incredibly rare. <laughs> it's the rarest thing in the game. By far. So it's the most valuable thing in the game. That's it. Faster block rate. Thank you. Could not think of that for the life of me. need to look at monarchs always always that goes for everybody always identify your blue monarchs sometimes if uh if mage plates drop archon plates blue archon blue mage plates i'll identify those too because of the, you can roll four open sockets and life on them. And people like those too. They're valuable. Exactly what Josiah said.
No, nope, you can't. What people like about those items in particular is you can throw runes in them and jewels in them. Like the rainbow facet that uh, I gave you back earlier. That can roll up to a 5-5. Five five, and people like to throw four of those to give them 20% extra damage to an element. And of course the 20 resistance reduction to enemies. With max block or stuff like that. In chess pieces, people love to just stack a, a ton of health. Another thing that people like to do is put, uh, like I was saying, jewels earlier, like enhanced damage jewels and IAS jewels. They're for the very, very rich and the people who like min-maxing a lot to be as powerful as you can be. Yep, 4015s. 4015s are another thing that people just love. The min max thing. They're really rare, really expensive. Uh, turn the music down? Yeah. I think it was just that one song, too. But yeah, I turned it down. Some of these songs, they're just a hundred times louder than the other ones. Sorry about that. And we're out of scrolls. All right, Tommy. Talk to you later, man. Yeah, so like he, Josiah is right. Um, the odds of finding a J mod is is incredibly, incredibly low. It's one of those things that you find when you're not shooting for it. It catches you by surprise. But I will say, 90% of people who play this game, even for the last 20 years, they will not and have not seen a J-Mod. That's how real they are. What's up, Trauma? How you doing? I've never even seen one in a trade window. 
I've only seen them on forums. Only seen pictures. Jmod is a jeweler's monarch of deflecting. It's absolutely the rarest item in the game. It's a blue monarch that rolls with faster block rate, increased block chance, and four open sockets. Rarest and most expensive. I'm doing good, man. A little tired today. Woke up tired. Didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> now I'm enjoying this Chinese food. Up, bubbles aside from work how you doing today Nine enhanced damage, 21 fire res jewel. Worth putting in my handies? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a great... Excuse me, sorry. It's definitely a great temp jewel. Most people, they shoot for like 15 increased attack speed and 30 fire resist to put inside their andies. That way your mercenary can hit the break point. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a good temp jewel for real. Hey, there we go. First decent rune of Trav, okay. We'll take it. I'm not staging this, I swear. I just forget to, I forget sometimes, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, I mentioned uh, facets in general, yeah, but no need to apologize or anything like that, you know? 
case people didn't hear, it's always good to have someone spread the information. I'm sorry I'm not doing these runs as fast. I'm just trying to eat at the same time. I had a mini stroke when you didn't pick it up right away. <laughs> Okay, this mana burn. Yeah, no. You pay for the rarity, not how powerful it is so much. 
This is why I find the game a 10,000 times better than what D3 has become, the variety of builds. Yeah, the itemization is what makes this game so much better than Diablo or Diablo 3. Diablo 3, it's just very cookie cutter. You follow the same thing every season. Sounds good, Scott. Played it back in the day, but never did trade, so I have zero clue about the price of things, and now just started doing trades. It must be a totally new experience for you. It's like playing a brand new game. That's awesome. I've gotten a couple. Uh, but yeah, I got two terror keys and a hate key this past week. I have, uh, yeah, I've been busy with the, the videos and stuff. I'll run some this weekend. Try and get some keys. Some of my friends back then dressed up a smiter for me and I remember I just had the most awesome feeling in the world when I got to kill Uber. Yeah, and being able to like, that's just, that's awesome. Like those are the memories that, you know, that, that everybody lives for and wants to re-experience when it comes to gaming.
and we finally have that chance now after all these years and it's just it's just awesome my buddy in chat uh tommy he was in here earlier he just went to work recently but that's who i would play with when i was younger we would stay up all night playing diablo together and tell our parents that we were you know quote quote sick <laughs> skip school just to play diablo stay up for 48 hours and, you know being able to being able to play diablo with all my old friends and stuff again and like we still chat we play other games of course but re you know being able to re-experience that with him was just it was a blast and that's who played that's who i played with um one of the person people that i played with on release Almost up to three sets. Battle run some movers late tonight with the boys. I'll give you these uh, keys that I have. Just so you can hold on to them. I planned on doing 100 Nile Fact runs anyways. So I'll work on that this weekend. Nilothak is so, so easy with the firewall. Dude, I found a goal on a pole in Solo Hell's Cow last night. There you go, nice. Dude, this mana burn. Yeah, graphs on those though. Wow. Not a bad find actually. Titan definitely has its uses. the first one I found since release too. Uh, what else? Nothing, we good?
Ok. Cause I, I assume you're talking to Donkey, right? If not, I'm I'm playing BNet. Oh look, it's another Geed. You I uh, play with other folks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Fridays, um, we host giveaways every Friday, and that's usually when I do community runs with like Chaos, Bale, Cows, whatever people are feeling really. Um, all of last week I was playing with people as well. This week I'm focusing on videos, so all the Magic Find videos that I do, I make sure I do them solo. Because I want to keep it um, at one player. Tornado build would be great to farm trailer parks with that. <laughs> Why? And yep, we now have seven geeds. Oh my lord. I'm gonna be keeping this because of the vendor reduction. But my god. 20%. Yikes. Look at all these geeks. We're going to keep this one. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Next run.
Uh, what? Is when physical or magic damage? It is physical damage. Problem, no problem, Dark Oblivion. Can I show my build? Sure, I can do that. Oh yeah, I misunderstood what you were saying. Oblivion, if you're still on the channel, we are hybrid. We're cold and physical. Alan, thank you for that, actually. Wow. I totally misunderstood that. So, yeah. the Our tornado, which is on our left click here, this is physical damage. Our hurricane is cold. But anyways, for the build, you're maxing out cyclone armor, twister, tornado, and hurricane. And then you're splitting your points into bear and an oak sage. And that's the whole build, honestly. Anyone have any triangle pieces I could have or barter for? I need belt and helm. Wouldn't mind offhand either. I, the only piece I get here are triangles chest. That's the only piece I ever get. Yeah, the belt is a uh... triangle belt's a little difficult to find. It's one of those items. You don't see a lot of troll belts to drop, and that's the base of a triangle belt.
I'm still rocking the F uh, Shaco. Running from mobs to keep the durability. Three days in, still seven and seven. That's impressive. It's impressive. Are you running Summon Mancer right now, Jerry? Or are you poison and kiting mobs around? Check in later on vacation with the kids. Gonna hop in the pool. Okay, Josiah. Thanks for hanging out. You have a nice time. Finer J mod by the time I get back. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you in about 20 years. Guys, do we give the mercenary another try? Do we give him another chance?
So this build doesn't need a Merc. Um, for what I'm doing here, the Mercenary just keeps dying because of the Hydras. So that's why I'm not running with a Mercenary. I gave up on him. I fired him for the time being. But I'm short on hand, so I was thinking about bringing him back. Yeah, I mean, the merc mercenaries are always really great for any class. Because of the the benefits that they bring, you know. For a druid, it's it's really nice cuz it's an extra it's an extra body paired with our bear. But yeah, for quick travical runs, you don't need a mercenary. I'm also pretty geared, so. Drop mercenary simple, cures, guardian helm, and guardian angel. Yeah, but people don't always have access to those. I was playing to create a druid, was thinking of a fury build, then I saw yours. Wind druid's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun on my wind druid. And it's very uh, versatile. Like you can do a lot with them. Dravico is definitely one of those. One of those builds, uh, or one of the areas that you can farm with relatively cheap gear too. Outlander man, I don't understand what your deal is lately. Okay, I really don't man. Like I've been trying to I've been trying to keep it positive and everything, okay? But you've just been so negative and so toxic in the channel lately, and I just don't understand what it's about, man. I just don't get it. You don't have to come into the channel and be this way. I don't sound grumpy at all to you, man. You know, I've politely declined farming with you and stuff. Like, I just don't, I don't like your toxicity lately, man. 
Like I've done nothing to you. Yeah, no problem, Ron. I'm not out of my mind, man. Especially when I have multiple people. And you're practically telling people that I'm not appreciative of things. And this all started, man, when I talk to you on the side about advertising in my channel, even though I shout your channel out all the time. It's like you thought I should be doing more when I would shout you out and tell people you gave so many items for your giveaway. And I don't, I still don't understand what you wanted from me, man. I always shouted your channel out. I mean, I always told people in the discord to go watch your stream. I always told people in the announcements that you were live. I don't understand, man. Like you didn't have to, that nobody is like, I don't ask for the giveaways. And after that, you talk like you're a pro. I, man, I've been playing the game for 20 years, Outlander. A lot of people corrected me and taught me a, a bunch. I don't know, man. Like, it sucks, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just remove you from the channel, buddy. But I do want to let you know, like, I have been appreciative of all your help and stuff. Like, I do appreciate that. And that's where you just crossed the line. I mean, <laughs> I put the work in, man. Donkey, donkey, I like, I like you. You're funny, man. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Jerry. I mean, I don't know, man. Like he just started attacking me, and then accusing me of stuff. It's just weird. He's been messaging people on Discord, too. And telling people that I'm not appreciative and stuff. And that he's the reason why the channel grew. <laughs> oh, man. Sucks. It does suck. Yo, 
Hey, what's up, Thomas? Oh, it's uh, it's going good. A little bit of drama in the chat just now, but it's going good. Thanks for asking. nothing but helpful to most of us so don't know where he's coming from with that yeah he just i don't know i don't i was trying to help him out with his own growth um and he felt like i wasn't doing enough i guess which is just i don't know it kind of it's upsetting The, the part that gets me is uh, when he tells me that he's the reason why the channel grew. Why do I have to do this? Why? Why do I have to... Do the simple math. I don't want to do the simple math. You have any MF charms I could get? Toby, I actually do. I do have MF charms that you can have. I have a bunch of low ones. Bro, what did I miss? I, dude, you just missed... You missed Outlander coming in here and saying that he's the reason why the channel was growing. And like, he left the community Discord the other night and he feels like I wasn't doing enough to try and advertise his channel. And he just started being toxic call me lazy like he, st he started calling me lazy and that message didn't go through right so he started calling me lazy because <laughs> I, I, I i don't know i don't know weird really weird like i, I don't understand how i'm lazy because i didn't i couldn't give things away you know good things weird you know i'm in the position now like that's why we're having the giveaway we're having tomorrow <laughs> we're we're having you know we're giving away the war traps and the oculus and stuff you know because i i found them i'm actually in the position to give them away Hey, Volklum. How you doing today? Um, Toby, let me hop on my... Did we clear this run? I came back, right? Yeah. All right. Let me hop on my charm mule real quick and see what I can give you. What was when I just got here? What did you do? <laughs> Not me, man. Oh, Bubbles, I just got here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess Bubbles. I don't know. I'm being lazy, man. I'm being lazy. 
Instead of seven hours a day, I got to farm for 15 hours a day. Yeah, a few people have said that, Ron. It sucks because, like, he was a part of the community and then out of nowhere. Does anyone know if the Infinity will break Trad Lightning Immunes or they're too high in res? Um, yeah, it will. Pretty sure, right? I think Infinity can break any Lightning Immune. But then again, there is there's some weird there's some weird math behind the infinity, right? But I to answer your question, yeah. And they said we didn't need ults. Yeah, I'm at my I'm at my character limit, guys. I reached my character limit last night. All right, Toby, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, am I trolling? Where'd I put all my magic find charms? All right, this is for Volklum. He wants the, there's a 6%. There's another faster run walk. Should I be keeping charms I find in Chaos Sanctuary? You can re-roll them, right? Yeah, you can. Well, people, I don't know if many people roll small charms, but grand charms. Uh, people re-roll them. Me, personally, I only like rolling charms that- Grand charms that drop off Diablo, Bale, and Nilefak. Because they're I-85 charms. And those are the only bosses and charms that can roll 45 life and plus skills. So that's why I keep them. Like these right here, all of these. There's a 44 life, for example. This is a Bale charm. And then these two over here are my Diablo Grand charms. We rolled a 43 earlier on this. All right, so let me see where I put all my charms. <laughs> hmm. Is it on temp? Nope, not on temp. Hey guys, look, another trying chest. As you can see with this character, I did not want to take the time to mule all this random stuff. Okay. Are they on my... S I don't think they'd be on my sorceress. Maybe? Let's see. Where'd you find the Oculus? Uh, Trav. We've been tra uh, farming Trav all day. Not sure about the ones in Chaos, but I know Bale Grand Charms. Yeah, so Bale... Diablo and Nilefak. Those are the only three bosses in the game that drop I-85 charms. Okay, I found all my MF charms. Toby, are you NA or EU? Am 
Am I the only one that names my mules the names of gods that relate to their items? Um, I don't know. I can't speak for other people. I don't though. Are you on NA or EU, Toby? So I can come give you these charms. Why are war tribes so rare? Because Blizzard knows that they're the best magic finding boots in the game. <laughs> and they do it to, to annoy people. So become game fluffy password one two three game name fluffy password one two three what level should i respect from level and bone necro build the poison necro um so here's the thing with necro especially poison necro all right poison necro is heavily heavily reliant on plus skills to gear So that is a uh, that's tough. That's real tough. A lot of people they start off as bone or summon mancer. I found four rocks already, but no war tribes. I even found a griffins and a burr rune. No war tribes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay. Seeing how you have that much luck. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. You're welcome, Toby. Not a problem, man. Thoughts on in-game auction house? You mean like a trading block? Because like obviously, obviously we can't have like gold, right? And we all know what happened with the real money auction house in Diablo 3. But I mean, I'd like to see like a little trading block of some sort. It'd be really cool. It'd be really innovative. And I think it would change the game. I would. I really do. Um, it would allow people, instead of taking a couple hours out of their time, to just post things up on, the, on a board and have people, if they want to accept it, they can accept it. Um, and you know, when 
you make a successful trade, it'll go to some sort of mail system or whatever it may be. Like, that'd be really cool. I'd love to see that in Diablo 4 for sure. I have a spirit sword and monarch. Can steal my sorcerer's shako, trang armor, belt, and gloves, and all those boots. Just would need Ami and rings. So trang armor is summoning skills. Keep that in mind. Um. I don't know. I, I I can't give you like a really straight answer. I wish I could. I'm sorry. Because like I said, uh, Poison Necro is one of those classes. It's a really, really big endgame class. That It's like Lightning Sorceress, for example. Just a placeholder for a three-piece boost? Oh, okay. I gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, right? I'm sure it would be good enough to farm things. It may not have like crazy insane clear speed, but the plus four skills from your spirit set. Then the plus two from the Shaco. Yeah, I could, I could see it. I could. But black one was Andy's. <laughs> yeah. The good old troll gotta try and get dweb eventually yeah you and a bunch of other people in the community a lot of people are after it in the community i even got an f reapers and an f titans too i found so much stuff but never get a war trap or a shaka it sounds like i mean unless you're doing the whole solo self found thing it sounds like you have found plenty to trade for them at least Volklum, did you get a death web, finally? Oh yeah, the, the facets are going to be a, a big thing too. Yep. Solo for life? Yeah, I hear you guys. Solo cell phone's really fun. It's definitely fun. Single players with a real G's live. Alright guys, we got we stopped at 99, but we're gonna do our last travel run. Alright. Oh yeah, grats on the wind force. Was that a drop or did you trade for it? I can't remember. I remember reading it earlier, but all that stuff was going down. I'm sorry. 
I could trade, but I feel like I get scammed all the time. I don't know what the price for items or runes. Well, I mean, here in this community, we always try to help people out who may not know what their items are worth. We have a lot of people who are knowledgeable when it comes to price checking stuff. And if you want to, if you want to join the Discord, I mean, that's where a lot of people ask about it and a lot of people get help. All right. I've been sitting in this game for almost two hours waiting for this D clone walk. You feel wet. And you're not going to let, let anyone know, Justin? Come on. Out here in a, in a D clone game. My dog just killed me. He just killed me. Not very nice of him. Alright, Jerry. Thanks for hanging out, man. Have a nice dinner. I did die, but it was my dog's fault. Wait, did I kill every- I think I killed everything. What killed us, actually? Maybe I didn't kill everything. Torque, is he inside? Did he kill me? Get my gold. And all my pots. What killed me?
That is insane. Actually, okay. Out here stealing my game names, guys. Alright, while I'm on this mule here, does anybody need a 4OS non-F Colossus Volge? I have two of them. I also have two 4OS Threshers, non-F. Does anyone need anything? My shop is officially open. Take the F. Um, if you have a soccer quest, I'll give you one of these clean ones. I have three clean ones. This one I still have for trade if anyone's interested. I'm asking for... What was I asking? I think I was asking for... An Ist Mal? I think I was asking for. 13% enhanced damage.
I would take one of the Threshers, CB2 high of strength. Um, come Amigo 2, password 2. Oh yeah, you were just talking about your infinity too. Does anyone in chat need a monarch? White Monarch? I still got five Monarchs. I just give these away. If anyone needs them, just let me know. You like CV more over Thresher? Uh, FCV? Yeah. Yeah, towel armors can be a pain, Toby, for sure. Game is no longer available to join. Lovely. <laughs> All right, I uh, try to get to you. Yeah, it's probably just the servers. So we can try in a little while here. I'm on for another 40 minutes or so, Jeff. So we can try in a bit. Isn't it slower though? But it hits harder. Yeah, I found a few of them on my charm mule, and I think I got a few more on my Javazon. Poke them. So I will. I think I have one in here too, somewhere. Thought I put one aside. I might have muled it already, actually. Oh, the large one.
All right, we're going to try this flare jungle. We're going to do a couple of runs of flare. How do I go about this? Do I just, just do a complete circle, kill everything? Um, I mean, if you want to toss me something, you could toss me something, but I wasn't planning on charging you for him at all. I go into a spider, turn around and go lower cross and do supers. Do you do flare? Is flare worth doing? Is the density in there as well, or do you guys just ignore that? You guys really like this flare farm, huh? All right. I'll keep at it, okay? I will keep at it.
Yeah, it's for the density and like rune farming mainly. Welcome back, Scott. Player and tribe have been my hotspots. Yeah, like I said, I'll give it a go, for sure. I've never really farmed player in the past. Why not, right? I am open to suggestions all the time. And I know a few of you have been talking about it, so. Anyone know why my cursor is now a dotted line? No, I do not. That's weird. Just all of a sudden, huh? I think we're dead. Um. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, we're practically done with it, so we'll just go to a new one. I feel like we got rolled back or something. I'm not going to lie. I literally just logged in, no queue. That's because probably a hundred or a thousand people just crashed at once. That's why I refuse to play hardcore until server stability is much, much, much better. Yeah, no, I agree. hundred percent.
Now, I will take these row rooms, okay? I need them for crafting soon anyways. Wait, spider forest. Get, get away from me. Go fast. Yeah, we're stockpiling ourselves. We're gonna be crafting soon. I'm actually excited. I can't wait. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop being lazy and level to 93. Oh, why couldn't these have faster run wall? Why? It's a 40 cap lightning resist roll. Oh, it's so depressing, guys. So depressing. Wow, the lag, 9.2K in poison and the cows aren't losing health. Yikes. live for that those, those are the drops you like to see strong much strong Guys, before I log off, should we just gamble our 7.5 mil we have saved up? Should we just buy a bunch of amulets again?
All right, we'll do it. It's gotta be after this run. Now what are we doing? We are doing this flare run and then after we're finished, which we're almost done here, we're going to hop over to our sorcerers and spend 7.5 million gold and gamble a bunch of amulets. Okay, well, I keep doing that today. for coronets yeah we did try that i tried that one day didn't get anything good really we didn't go for coronets we actually went for um circlets what level does nightmare bail become meh you can do nightmare bail effectively all the way up until 70. anything else after that is just rough yeah bubbles they are expensive we're just gonna go with ammies again I'm 66 so a bit more yeah I mean you can go to 70 I usually stop at 60 because 60 is when you can complete hell ancients anyways and I usually ask for somebody to rush me then and do my ancients all right we're pretty much done let's uh go deposit this gold real quick Math just hard. Isn't that what I just put in? Okay. Whatever. Alright, 7.5 mil. For those who don't know, we're rolling it on our level 90 sorceress. We're not rolling on level 93. We can still get a really good amulet. It's just lower odds. We have our vendor price bow. We have a 14% geed reduction there. All right. How we're gonna end the stream, we're gonna do a little gambling.
All right. Can I grab another stack? Here we go. Forty four point seven K per. Three. OK. Oh, OK. All right. Cool. Three alley, 10 FCR for blue. Oh. Oh, okay. Two Necro, 40% fire resist, 72 mana, 15% MF. Wish it had some FCR on it. One assassin, 53 life. Yuck. Ninety two life, thirty five mana, level thirty seven. One Ellie, one strength, two energy, eighteen mana, all six all resist. Dual leech, twenty two strength. This is something you'd love to see off maybe with plus skills. I don't know, just throwing it out there. 96 life, 14 cold resist, level 37 AME. Ninety-three life, thirty-seven AME. Okay, there's our first two point five mil. One sorcerer skills, one the strength, eight fire, that's trash. I was actually more than 2.5, right? I was 3.4? Yeah, I was 3.4. Wait, what? What did I just drop there? Why is it dropping a 10? another 3.4 mil two sorcerers 11 AR 19 energy 10 mana no FCR so the amulet is worthless
72 to life, 35 cold, level 30 ammo. Thirty-two percent MF Ami, dual leech, ten percent Magic Fine Ami. One Ellie skills, quad res. Eighty-five the life, seven all resist. One assassin, thirty-five poison. Did you farm all this gold with a gold find bar or a sword? This is all found through doing Trav and Chaos Run. Just picking up gold find or gold uh, piles. Both on my sorceress and my druid. This is all just from picking up gold piles. I don't even sell anything anymore. A lot of this gold came from doing Trav today. 10% FCR, 13 fire or lightning resist rather, and 10 MF. Three fire skill. All right, 33 MF, two combat skill pally, level 30. What are your thoughts on running Countess on a Blizz Sorceress? Sorceress instead of Taos? Uh, as long as your mercenary can beat him up, then you're fine. to masteries not countess oh okay um yeah coh is fine coh is like one of those uh those min max things you know what i mean if you have enough magic fine also and you want to break up your tau set why not coh is a good item it's a really good item guys we're not hitting big today huh Two to Druid skills, 46 life. Sixteen strength, okay. Alright. Alright. Last bit of gold. I think we have a nine hundred K pile, right? Yeah. We'll spend it all too. We have hundred K here. Pick that up. Deposit that. And deposit that. All right, so we got another mill. Maybe we, maybe we do a couple refreshes, huh? Get rid of my res charms and not be able to, and be able to run some skillers and MF charms. I'm at the min max point on her. Yeah, if you have the min max and you want a min max for sure, do it up. Two sorcerers, 38 fire, 38 lightning, 5 fire. Just no FCR. One druid, 15 energy, 31 cold, 7 fire. Two to summoning. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Can't win them all, right? We pulled that pally one last time we gambled and they don't want to give us another good one. You win some, you lose some. Uh, 
Uh, 10 FCR, 7 Leech, Mana Leech, and 32 Fire. Okay. So we just got a bunch of blues here. Uh, like, that's all we got. What do we got? These are just a bunch of lifers that I wanted to show people. Got... MF Ammies, Lifer, Two Skill, Life, Three PNB, yeah I mean that's not bad, it's just a temp ammy, obviously any, any ammy with FCR and like strength and life, Amara's is gonna be better than this but Plus two's combat skills and 33% MF. I mean, pretty nice for a hammer and starting off. Two Ellie skills, 20 magic fine. Also not bad. And then the plus threes, of course. This is the one I was interested in. Plus three to Ellie skills and 10% FCR. It's actually not bad. That is something that's tradable right there. And then, of course, the three PNB and the plus two summoning. I'll take the plus two. Plus two what? Oh, the Necro Ami? Yeah. I wish it rolled FCR. For the pally i think we're gonna hold on to that we're gonna hold on to the pally one and the druid one the plus threes I can craft with I believe the 90 pluses I can craft with I don't know if I can craft with if it has to be 25 and up or not for the all resistance may be able to craft with this I don't know I know these for sure I can craft with the 90 plus lifers and the plus threes. You win some, you lose some. Is what it is. What are these charms? Oh, those are skillers. Okay. Um. Let me make another game real quick. Jeff, are you still in chat? Are you still in the channel, buddy? Try and get you that thresher. Impossible to get a unique as a gamble, yeah? No, it's not impossible. It's uh definitely possible, it's just incredibly rare.
Uh, Volklum, let me gather everything for you as well, buddy. The faster run walk charms and stuff. Three to summoning. All right, let me go on the Javazon real quick. I think that's where I got a few more faster run walk charms. Just collecting dust on her. What we got? 3%. Another 3%. Does a druid want FCR? Yeah. Yep. 164% is the max break point for a druid. That's what we're running on our druid. Looks like I only have the five here. and come into Amigo 1, Password 1, Volklum, and uh, come grab your charms here. Jeff, are you in, uh, are you here still?
What's this circlet? Did you just find a circlet? Oh, would you look at that? Uh, Toby, we're wearing a uh, thirty percent vipers. Plus thirty, uh, viper. With the circlet. I'm trying to think what we could do here. So what would be really nice is if I can just get a, a two druid, 220 uh, amulet, which is why I want to craft soon. All right, guys, so it is that time. We are going to go ahead and call it here. I just want to say real quick, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate every one of you. I'm sorry for the little bit of drama that happened for about five, ten minutes in the stream. That is not something that normally happens at all, but can't avoid it sometimes. But yeah, I do want to say, you know, to clarify, Anytime that somebody donates to me to giveaways anything like I appreciate it. I do I Am very appreciative and very grateful to have everybody who hangs out in the chat who is a part of the community and who who donates And if you ever feel like I'm not appreciative By all means you can DM me on discord. We can talk about it You know I anytime somebody donates like I always make sure to shout you out I always make sure to let people know who it's from I'll never take any credit for anything you know 
I just wanted to clear that up. So yeah, I hope you all have a great night. I hope you all have a great day, whatever it may be. And don't forget, tomorrow we have our giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, be a part of the Discord. We're giving away an Oculus, a pair of War Tribes, a few other cool things. So yeah, we'll do some runs together, some bales, some chaos runs. So yeah, until then, happy hunting guys, and I'll see you all later.